The Sun 2000L is a single-phase grid-tied PV string inverter. It converts the DC power generated by PV strings into AC power and feeds the electricity into the power grid. <laughs> This video illustrates how to install, connect, and commission the Sun 2000L. Mark mounting holes for the inverter on the wall. Use a hammer drill to drill mounting holes at the marked positions. Install expansion bolts and secure the mounting bracket. Mount the inverter on the mounting bracket. Tighten the two screws on the top. Disassemble the AC connector. Take out a waterproof rubber cap with an appropriate hole diameter from the package and mount it on the cable. The AC power cable should be a 2-core or 3-core outdoor copper cable. Connect the cable to the connector with correct polarity. Reassemble the AC connector. Take out a solid metal terminal from the package and connect it to the negative cable of the PV string. Use a crimping tool to crimp the terminal. Take out a hollow metal terminal from the package and connect it to the positive cable of the PV string. Use a crimping tool to crimp the terminal. Use a plastic wrench to tighten the positive and negative connectors. Disassemble the communications cable terminal. Take out a waterproof rubber cap with an appropriate hole diameter from the package and mount it on the cable. Use a two-core cable to connect the alarm port to the alarm device. Connect the negative wire to port 1 and the positive wire to port 2. Connect the shield layer of the cable to port 8. Use two four-core cables to connect the COM port, including two pairs of RS-485 differential signal circuits and one pair of enable signal circuits. Connect the shield layer of the cable to port 8. Reassemble the communications cable terminal. Seal the idle cable hole in the waterproof rubber cap. Remove the adhesive and attach the plastic washer. Tighten the Wi-Fi antenna. Install the inverter PE cable. Connect the AC output cable and tighten the screws. Check the DC output voltage of the PV string. Ensure that the cables are correctly connected and that the voltage does not exceed 600 volt DC. Connect the DC input power cables. Connect the battery cables.
Connect the cable to the alarm port. Connect the cables to the COM port. 